Welcome to the station where big stories live. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we spill and sip tea while analyzing, while analyzing the biggest entertainment stories. I am a fellow Ocean Care, and I'm here with the amazing woman of substance, Ewa Ritu, and the man with values, Benny Ak. What's woman good? of substance, yeah, that's it. Now, this guy's about to have a problem it with that. It can't have a problem with that. You don't have value. Ha! Good morning, lady and gentlemen. How are you doing? <laughs> you you wanted, have... but nothing came. <laughs> like... Nothing came. He was blank. There's so no just said, okay, let me Only let if you want to say you don't have value. You, oh, you don't have values. I was not blank, but I was just like, you know, do I really want to say anything to that? No, no, no. <laughs> talk about it. Blank, talk okay. about it. Talk about it. Like Values are quite relative, I mean. My personal values for life are different from every other person's personal but values. But you have values. But do you have values? Well, that's it. Who measures values? That's it. On what, on what parameter do we place what value is? Because what you value, somebody else doesn't value it at all. All right, I'm going to your own parameter, yeah? With your own um, parameter? Because we all have a mode. Society has carved out a mode for us, and that's what they've decided. So, you know, if you don't have these values, then mm -hmm. you're not okay, you know, because it's their measurement of what value is. Let's roll back the tape. When you um, pledged allegiance to the Malian family. Yeah. You said um, you respect his values, you respect his philosophy and his taught. philosophy yes, is man. taught and it has values and mm. you subscribe to some of his values. Yes. So obviously some of his values you subscribe to are also applicable to you. Yeah, but some, some people would totally exactly. disagree so you, have values. So you know what I mean. Yeah. So I win this case. But right? it's fine, it's fine. Drops mic. If that's what you want to do, <laughs> I accept it on the show. How you guys doing? I'm good. How was, how was your weekend? It was it was loud and quiet. It was loud, then became quiet. Uh, yeah. How about you? It was fun and restful. I, mean, I saw I you were with, with the boys too, man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. As a concert of a lifetime, man. I couldn't have missed that concert for anything except if I were dead. You know? So I was so glad I lived to. Uh. To be in that hall with voice to men, I was practically a groupie <laughs> on that day. Yeah, I saw, I, mean, I saw, I, was I saw your story. I, I, actually. Like, you know, nobody's gonna make, make me feel any type of. I way. saved some, so. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> you don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> some. Uh, all right, and, and I yeah. was my 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 was fun and restful. I had enough time to rest, and now I had enough time to have fun. Okay. Yeah. Mine was a clean December period for me, so I had a clean December weekend, so. Very great. All right, so the rap world is being rocked by South South rapper Eriga, who is upset at Paul NG for not recognizing him on the 2019 rap artist list. He attributed their failure to the, of recognition to the fact that he is a worry boy. He also affirmed that the whole Nigeria won't dispute he put out a great album in 2019. The South South rapper also took ownership of the catchphrase, two seconds, everything don't bust. Should he really have been recognized? That's my question, because uh, I know Eriga put out an album this year, but to be honest, I never listened to it. Who is he again? I'm just joking, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Um, this is what I feel when I when I read the story, right? Like, why make a fuss about it, every guy? Pause. Pause, Angie. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm not necessarily trying to say you know they're not a big. When Timaya is trying to get off their list, you are trying to get get on, on the list. You know, it's a different strokes for different folks. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I know, I know he's recognized he's, he's a big deal in South South, mm -hmm. in Benin City, in the South South especially. And I just feel he should have just been quiet about the whole thing. Um, every nomination is for recognition. And if people feel, you know what, they don't, they don't nominate you, they don't recognize your work, mm. just keep doing what you're doing. And everybody and on that list were more relevant this year I than you were. And, and for okay. me, unfortunately, right, I can't necessarily bring one song of Eriga to mind. Mm. Even if I do, I'm the only thing that right rings in my head is a chorus by Victor A.D. You know, um, the motivation, my biggest motivation. You know, Eriga was on that track. Mm. And so the only person that comes to mind whenever I, I think about that track is Victor A.D. So I'm like, okay, what track did he have? What big song mm -hmm. did he really have for him? That rocked the airwaves yeah, and to, all to, that. Like... To be, um, asking for this recognition, Paul Sng didn't give to him. It, it doesn't add up to me. Okay, I think first I'm going to agree with what you said. Like, if people don't recognize you, just keep doing what you're doing. What you do? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you doing it because you want them to put you on the For list? Recognition. Do you get? And or when it comes to all this um, list and awards, I mean, it's a personal thing. I'm sure every um, organization or every company that is giving out this award or making this list, it's not the same because everybody feels different about every single True. artist out True. there. So if 
Pulse NG is not giving you that recognition. You never can tell. Another person might give it to exactly. you. So I don't I don't know why he's in his feelings about this. Maybe he feels that he's working too hard and he's not getting what he deserves. Yeah. I mean, just look up to someone like Bonaboy. Bonaboy was there for years and nobody was giving him any recognition. Not even any TV station or any radio station or any award. Jiget. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, look at him now. So like Grammy Benny Ratley, Jiget, like Benny Ratley um, said. Keep Focus on what thing. you're doing and keep doing what you're doing. But I think um, someone like Eriga will be quite pained because he's been in the scene for a while. But your style of music is not what we're listening to mm -hmm. right now. A lot of people know that, okay, you're a good rapper. It's like Young Six is, is in that same category as Young Six. But right. Young Six is still trying not to put out mainstream music and mm. we still know that um. Young Six... No, I beg to differ. They when say, I say they say the trying to put out mainstream music, Young Sings has a whole lot of mainstream music. Yeah, but if you but listen, you can't no, he has a lot of mainstream music. Yeah. But if you listen to the real Young Six, Young Six has more um, hardcore rap kind of songs because yeah. I've had the chance to listen when to When he started, I've yeah. had the chance to be in the studio with him yeah. when he's recording and I know the Even if you music. compare his old songs and what he has now, you will spot the difference. Young says he's a versatile rapper. Very he's versatile. hardcore, he's, he's modern, he's contemporary. I mean, mm. he, he can go both ways. Yeah, and so for, for why Young says still has not been given the recognition due him, it's just a bit my mind because I feel he's one of the fantastic rappers, rappers we have yeah, in the Nigerian definitely. music industry. And you I can't totally take that agree. away from him. You know? And I mean, we, let's, uh, let's all know forget that it's not everybody that's going to f be an A-list artist. I mean, mm. you can be there for years and you will never be a Davido or a Whiskey mm. or a Bonaboy, but that does not mean that you're not successful. But that does not mean but that you know, every girl will be bad. quite pissed because it came out before Young Six. <laughs> And then Young Six is the one take, uh, Everybody's dominating the sound sound I mean. right now. But what you're talking about uh, is because you're a worry boy. But we still recognize Young Six. Young Six is still relevant. So you should even yeah. forget that now. You're trying to bring tribe into all of this. Yeah, it's it's not a tribal, tribal war. No. And Do people, you understand? I, I mean, it's not, it's not worry a people, war. I know that. I mean, they're just loved in a way by everybody. Everyone. So, worry not the carry last time, get, you know? I mean, every, they're just interesting people that everybody wants to be around them. Mm. And I don't think anybody has any against worry people yeah. so you should not play that tribal, tribal card yeah. yeah it's not a tribal war so every guy man keep doing your thing and stop playing the tribal war card mm -hmm. it's time for a break but when we return we still have more stories to discuss stay with us Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So actress Jemima Oshunde took to her social media yesterday to rant about a man who she claims aggressively chased her af chased after her, but who is now engaged to someone else. She further concluded that he was playing games or thought she could have been the one with the ring. This didn't sit well with some Twitter users who have called her a bitter leaf. <laughs> so. I beg to disagree. Yeah. I don't know so much about um, Jemima Osunde. I don't know so much about her, but um, if somebody was talking to me, if somebody was, you know, gassing me up with love by February mm. and then by December, the person is getting married, it's only logical for me to want to ration it out. Okay, hold up, hold up. Were you... Was this just supposed to be like um, a, a game for you? You were gassing me up with so much love by February, December, you're getting married to some chick, so... I want to think probably you just wanted to make me another of your side chick. 
you know, so there was somebody already in the picture, but you just wanted to play your game as a man, which is not impossible. You know, and so for for Trost to not come out and tell her that she's she's bitter, blah blah blah. No, I mean we should stop it. I dare to differ because you know? um, love is something that you don't plan. You can meet somebody in three months and know that they are the right one for you and no, get married. They got married. Okay. Wait. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll be no. the judge here. Yeah. No, wait, 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 but let me just land now. Yeah. A guy that was on your case in February. Mm -hmm. First of all, a man who is ready to get married, who is done playing mm -hmm. and wants to start a family and wants to be with a woman will go to any extent to make sure he gets the right. So as of February, this guy can be like, he could he could set a goal for himself that, okay, this is February. By August, I want to have been with a person that I feel like I can spend the rest of my life with. Do you understand? And then he tried. That so, is what you want. What if the person you, you want to do this rest of your life obviously with Obviously, this not guy ready, wants it because by December he's engaged. Do you understand? Okay, so he wasn't with, patient okay. enough to, to wait for if Osuna was really the one? She was giving him a okay, positive okay, response. Okay, 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 hold mm. on. When it comes to being patient, yeah, it's not everybody that can hold on so long. I mean, if you want to be with me, know that you want to be with me. And if you're already telling me you don't want to be with me, I mean, it's okay, uh, for, it's me okay to for me to move, move on. on. But now, the question is, we're not sure if the guy was dating the person is getting married to so now. That's, when, my, that's, that's, that's possible. Do you yeah. get It's possible. And I think that's where um, she is coming from. Like, exactly. oh, you're playing me. I think people just took her out of context. Exactly. And they didn't read to understand what exactly she was trying to say. It's no. not like she's saying no, somebody I think, should I think around the that why I understand no. Understand when you say that uh, people took her out of context, mm. but if you notice, there's this um, sense of entitlement by women that they feel like, okay, you need to be a bit patient. I can play the hard to get card. Make it, make no, it, make it, I'm most, make it mo most women. Most women. No, let's I said not, some. Most not women. I mean, right no, now. No, I said not some. I didn't even say women. I said okay. some women. Mm. So not even most. Some women have this sense of entitlement, like, okay, you need to wait. I can play the arts to get card if you really want me to try do harder. That these days? Yeah, you, do you understand? Which is why a lot of people were against um, Oshunde because they felt like, okay, if you were actually, because the way she sounded right now, she saw him as a potential. Suto as well, but wanted to play the art to get card for I'm not while. sure she saw him as a potential suitor. So, so why is she coming I out to talk about this? Then she should be happy for him no, that he's moving like on. Like people just... need to, I feel like Nigerians are just really hypocrites. Because if not that she's putting this thing out there, it's a conversation that I can, I, imagine I'm, I'm at right now, and I'm telling Have people you that. In your can you private circle. That? So, don't bring what, it on social media. What if she wants to put it out there? I mean, it's just because you're trying feels. to make the guy look bad. And then now, um, people, you know, Twitter people now they've done their research and, and I mean, they found and out who I, this guy is. Tweet and was all of very that. clear. I just feel if Nigerians are not just so quick to attack people, she said so. It's either he really thought that it could have been me with the ring, or. Um, my finger he, right now, or he was playing games. So she's just trying to say, is it not married to him right now, or he was dating the girl and he was just trying to get down with me? Well, okay, now that you explained that part, I think that's correct because mm -hmm. um, she balanced it. Yeah, she she made just, it look like, yeah, it was, it was a well balanced. Yeah. yeah. So she gave two sides of a coin. So that's what I'm saying. It, People it's, didn't it's just good. read to understand what she was saying. It's Everybody just typical. wanted to, you know, attack any female on Twitter. No, that's because, talking because about marriage I think it's because um, we, we've had a series of cases where women are like that and they just come out to attack men for not being patient enough to keep trying. You get, we've had a series of cases like that. So they just figured, okay, maybe this is it's just typical one of, those. of people on yeah. social media streets not to understand. I'll, Which I'll is why it's not everything people. you bring on social media. So I understand. I understand where um, what's it called Jemima is coming from, but at the same time, um, a lot of a lot of women should know that this is 2019 and we're getting to 2020, where you need to make your decisions. You need to know what you want out of life. The but, old, but they are, they are at, making their decisions. At, no, the whole <laughs> how to get card doesn't work anymore. Like because men now know that we have other options. You're not the only ones with options. And okay, they, now right. I would I would like to jump in there. Men, if that's the case, now men need to understand that sometimes I can't just meet you and then in two months. You or in like a month, you want me to decide if I want to in be with three you or not. Months. What if I want to be with your friend first and I want to know who you are before I go um, into a relationship with you? So it's possible. Well, I mean, everybody should take their time. Are we that I don't patient know who is these making days? these rules or telling people. Benny, this is do you what think you we're that do. patient these days? Society is. They created a mode for every one of us to fit because in. Because at the end of the day, this is me and. 
decided if, to spend the if, rest of my if, life with somebody. Listen, if, I need to if, take my if time. I'm investing my time mm -hmm. and a lot of things. Now, a lot of people will say that, okay, this is a male sense of entitlement as well. So yes. I'm going to balance this, that. If I'm going to invest my time, mm -hmm. my energy, mm -hmm. my resources, my financial, and all of that into a woman that I believe that I want to spend the rest of my life. And if after like four... You believe pretty subjective. Or, yeah, that I believe that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Mm. And if by four, four months down the line, you're not showing me any sign of seriousness, it's only right for me to feel like, am I wasting my time? And reevaluate. Mm. And if I feel like, okay, my time is being wasted here, my energy, my resources, my everything I'm investing into this to make it work is being wasted, maybe you still give me some sort of attitude like we met just yesterday. Obviously, I would move on. Yeah, that's okay. That's it's very okay for you to move on at that point. That's what I'm saying. Who makes these rules? Who's telling you to hang on there? Nobody. Who's telling her to um, answer you in like two seconds? Nobody. But Let like, everybody um, leave. But I think I'm going to agree with the both of you right now that, okay, <laughs> our statements was balanced. Yeah, it's either it was plainer or he felt that she was the one that should be with the ring. So yeah. on that note, I think we should stop bashing Jemima or Shunde on this one. I move on. I move on like the guy has moved on. I'm talking right. about moving on. Let's move on to the next story. Earlier this summer, Jamie received death threats after Absolute Britney blogger Anthony Elliott claimed that he and Britney's team were using her social media in a way to negatively portray her and to do her harm. Amid a conservatorship, the court document states that the blogger cannot talk negatively about Britney's conservatorship, republishing, distributing, or disseminating posts. He also cannot authorize or asked third parties to do so for him. The claim spawned the Free Britney campaign on social media, claiming that Spears, who is 38 years of age, was being held against her will, and that negative comments were left on her social media post, while positive ones were deleted to maintain the idea that she was in need of a conservatorship. <laughs> All right, so this is a win-win for um, Jamie Spears, who has been dragged and because of belt issues, um, he has also dropped the conservatorship and handed it over to a longtime manager. Mm -hmm. And um, so I get where this is coming from because in that case, the family didn't come out to debunk, I mean, they didn't come out to support that Britney was being treated unfairly. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Um, even though the mom also said that, okay, she would like to be a part of the conservatorship and they were back and forth and all mm -hmm. of that. But um, you were trying to, I, I even think defamation should also be part of this because you were making um, Jamie look bad. So I, I'm glad it won this case because Britney never for one, when Britney even came out, she said that, no, that's not the case. She debunked it. Do you understand? So I think it's only fair. I think this ruling is fair, in my opinion. Okay. Um, I mean, on this one, I think I'm just a bit confused because we're not sure what it is exactly. I mean, all these people can come out and act like, oh, she's really not held against her will. Now, my question is, where is that guy's um, freedom of speech? It, what if is actually looking into the truth? It wasn't just a speech. Now, it was taking take, yeah, I'm saying and like republishing I, I, negative I, comments about um, the Free Britney. It started the Free Britney movement mm. and all of that. Like, now, I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm just saying. Without that, fact. What if? Now, the problem is without fact. Yeah. Mm. But I'm just saying, what if he was actually looking into the truth? And then this is just a way of silencing. Yeah, him but he didn't him. have. But again, but I'm just it, saying, well, yeah, look, it was invading. It, it was it's a total invasion of somebody's privacy. privacy. That was what he was doing, and it's against. It's it's a criminal offense. That's good. And for me, in, in this case, the only person I'm so happy for is our father, Jamie. Mm. I mean, he's he's his name is Claire, and um, the the case has been tilted to his favor. Mm. You know, so let us look at some of this some of this paparazzi or bloggers in the states. They're not like the people we have around there. Sometimes mm. they could become stalkers. They mm. they stalk you. They can hack your system, and which was what was seemingly was happening ready to Britney. So we can't just totally rule and say, you know and what? And we, we can also um, say it was, uh, it was applicable to Meghan Markle as exactly. well. Exactly. You know, so um, I think the case, the case as it is right now, is every, both parties are, are, be are benefiting from mm. it, you know, and I'm happy for Jamie, um, Britney's dad, and let, let's see what turns out after this. Yeah. All right, speaking of, let's see, what, uh, let's see what turns out after this. It's time for a break. But when we return, myself and the efficient team will be discussing one more story. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs>Welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and we're moving on to the final story of the day. Singer Orezi said, and I quote, controversy, sex, and the like sell in entertainment. It is a driving force in the business. The most controversial often turns out to be the most successful. For example, if you see a video of me and Toke Makinwa frolicking or kissing, whether make believe or real, it would make headlines and go viral all across the globe. These things are what makes the entertainment industry interesting. And I I totally agree. I with, totally disagree yeah. with the fact that the most controversial is the most successful. We have a lot of um, celebrities that are not <laughs> controversial and they are very successful. But now, define your define successful. Is it fame you're talking about or popularity? Funky Akinele is not controversial and me, she's very successful. So you don't have to be. Okay. If you just mentioned Funky Akinele, mm -hmm. get, go on with the list. Then I will give you a list of controversial people that are very successful. No, I Okay, I'm not saying that controversial people are not successful. Controversy sells. But it, it does sell, but that does not mean that if you're controversial, you'll be successful. He's talking about in Nigeria. In and Nigeria, based entertainment. Based on experience, based on what we have seen. Well, I think maybe our definition of success is different. Because for me, I don't What's think that everybody talking success? about you or you trending on all the blogs makes you successful. Look, at, okay, I will use a very recent example, um, which is Tatcha. Tatcha was in the Big Brother house, and um, she had a very controversial personality in the house. Mm -hmm. And as soon as she came out, she got more endorsements, or she got, a lo don't let me say more, she got a lot of endorsements, mm -hmm. contrary to what people believe, because everybody thought that, oh, after she was disqualified, her career would just end like that. And she was quiet for a while, but look at her now, she's winning. Do you understand? Now, I'm going to also use Tonto DK as an example. Mm. Tonto DK always makes headlines. And this always gives a, if you're looking for a brand ambassador, you call it Tonto DK because you know if she puts out a post, people are there to talk mm. about it. Yes, I'm going to also use, um, what's it called now, Bonner Boy. Part of this success is this whole Coachella thing, Giant of Africa. Do you understand? Because it was very so. controversial. No, I'm, I'm saying it contributed to, it contributed a lot in this new phase of Bonaboy. Bonaboy has so. been doing well, but this new phase of um, Bonaboy, he even had to stop an album based on the controversy around Coachella and recorded the Giants of Africa. And it, that's the album that was nominated for Grammy. If I, but you know that there are lots of artists out Kanye there. Kanye West. Wait, hold on. There are lots Kim of, Kardashian. If, if I, but you know there are lots of artists out there that have tried to be so controversial. They are trying to be on everybody's list and they are still not successful. In Foul's voice. It's you how you your use death your controversy. No it's how you decide to, you see, a lot of people don't take advantage of negative publicity. They think, oh, because it's negative, oh, we need to lay low. Mm -hmm. But some people ride on that horse of negative publicity, and it works for them a lot of time, most of the time. I won't say all the time, mm -hmm. but most of the time. So I kind of agree with Orezi, but let's listen to Benny Akon. Um, I, I don't think I totally agree with Orezi on this. He's, mm -hmm. he's my buddy, but um, it's very possible for it to be controversial, yet not successful. Mm -hmm. You, you can be controversial, yes, you'll be famous for your controversies, but it doesn't necessarily make you successful. That's my point. No matter what level or what parameter you want to use to measure success. So you got to put some work into it. Yes, controversy will bring you fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most times, fame comes before the success, before the money. Because mm -hmm. success will not be you mm -hmm. fulfilling your career and you have good money in the bank. Mm -hmm. That is what it means to be successful. Yeah, your right. career is good and then there's money, there's money in the bank. 
you know. So what controversy does for you? It makes you fa a famous person. Mm -hmm. That's what I now, said. Now, what you now decide, you what you now decide, how you now decide to manage your fame, you know, to utilize it for the business aspect to increase mm -hmm. your revenue, mm -hmm. it's now a different ball game entirely. entirely so just yeah. because every Tom, Dick, and Harry is controversial out there doesn't necessarily make them successful. Right. Does Excel? Yes, the industry, the entertainment industry is, was built on on, on, on controversy and sex. Mm -hmm. All right. They sell sex, controversy sells, but that doesn't necessarily make you successful. There are a lot of people out there with sex tapes that got leaked. Not everyone got, no, well, not everyone know, got know, successful, successful. like well, Kim Kardashian. Well, meeting all you know? the things they said, like yeah. it will make headlines and then people will That's it. That's the point. Making headlines does yeah. not make mm -hmm. you successful. Well, if, you, if, if you recall, while I was talking about this, I said it is now how you decide to, uh, to ride that wave of your controversy yeah. and that will determine your success. And then if it starts to go, um, boils down to your ad work. That's Definitely. It. That's it. it, 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 it Definitely. Does, it means, so some people are ad working here yeah, and they are not on headlines and they are successful. The fact that they are not on every headline or on everybody's lips does True. not make them not mm. successful. True. True. They are not, nobody, nobody's saying anything about them, but they are making their money and they are doing so well. True that, true that, true that. So it's a 50-50 thing, so I think it should be well balanced. But, well, it's time for us to take a bow on today's episode of Tea Time and say have a great day. But remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, goes to my co-anchors, Ewa and Benny, for their amazing contributions and the entire production team. I'm Ifeolu Oshinke saying thank you for watching and see you in a bit. Thank you.